Hello. Hi, is this Tim? Hey, sorry about that. I was uh, I was in another interview and they were keeping me a little bit longer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries, man. I'm just glad I got you on the phone today. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. I got to take you a second just to say thank you very much for your time. I know how busy you guys are right now, especially with a brand new album out. So it means a lot to me and my radio station, brother. Oh, of course. Thank you guys for, uh, for thinking of us. Absolutely. You know, we got uh, St. Patrick's. It's never complete without a whole crap ton of Dropkick Murphys. And right. uh, you guys, right in time, you got a brand new album, and I, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. You worried me a little bit with the title, Going Out in Style, because I thought you guys were, were calling it a day. Right, right. And, and so I was like, what? No way. So I do a little bit more research, and, dude, this thing goes, this rabbit hole goes way deeper than I would have ever imagined. Can you it take does, us? yeah. I mean, uh, once, uh, hopefully, hopefully once people get the, the record, they'll understand that it doesn't have anything to do with us specifically. It's more of a, more of a, an album theme than anything. Can you kind of talk about some of the fictional characters and maybe a little bit about the storyline that goes along with it? Yeah, um, I mean, um, when we started writing the songs um, lyrically, there was uh, there was definitely a thread that could that could have been uh, drawn through the the first handful that we wrote, um, and we had talked uh, about you know not necessarily doing like a concept record, but we had definitely talked about having. Um, a record with a theme and um and uh, as we were coming up with the songs you know um lyrically things were just sort of sort of starting to, to string together and um we uh we we uh called in michael patrick mcdonald to sort of flesh out the rest of it and um when people get the album it's like uh, in the inside there's like an obituary and stuff um about this fictional character cornelius larkin <laughs> who's sort of an amalgam of uh, you know all of our ancestors and a lot of our grandparents and stuff like that, people that came to America from Ireland, um, and uh, you know the songs just sort of um, you know he's the he's the constant throughout the throughout the songs essentially um, that, that strings them all together. And it's more of a, you know, like you were explaining, it's, it's, they got, you guys got inside, you got the obituary and, and even the video, you guys are at the wake, uh, I'm guessing yep. of, of him, but this album seems more like a celebration of life record more than, it, than about death or anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the idea. Um, I mean, uh, we wanted to go for the whole, you know, typical Irish wake type of vibe <laughs> for the record. I, I, no offense, but I think I would rather party at an Irish wake than I would at just like a regular party anywhere else because <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like so much damn fun. I don't want anybody right. to die to have to do it, but you know, I just want to be invited. It looks like a killer right. party. <laughs> well, you know, it's more of a, like you said, it's more of a celebration of life than, than, a, uh, than a morning of someone's death, you know? That's perfect. And, and on this tour, I'm guessing you guys are playing a lot of new songs off of this album to let the uh, let everybody know about it, I'm sure. Yes, definitely. Yes, we are. And you got a killer tour lined up. You guys are out with Against Me. Yep. Those guys right. are awesome. And, uh, of course, playing St. Patrick's Day in Boston, as you do every year, that's probably the most amazing show on earth you could be at at any given time. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. I, I've n- I haven't made it, and it's on my li- it's on my bucket list to see the drop kick yeah. in Boston. Um, I just I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I mean, um, uh, for us, it's a big it's a big uh, family reunion. You know, all of our friends and family come out, and um, we don't play in Boston often. Um, so uh, we can get away with doing you know seven shows in a row or whatever yeah. <laughs> in uh, <laughs> in our hometown. But um, you know it's 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 always exhilarating right before you go out there and you know you think about which which one of your friends are out there and your mom and dad are going to be <laughs> right in your face. And, um, it's definitely a fun time. Now you guys on the record, you guys got a a whole bunch of guests. Everybody from Fat Mike to Bruce Springsteen. How did you guys That's land right. a couple of these cats on there? Uh, um, I mean, they're you know all they're all um, all friends of ours. Um, Fat Mike and Chris Cheney from The Living End and stuff. Uh, you know, we've we've been on the road with those bands before. And Lenny Clark uh, from Rescue Me is just sort of a uh, a Boston staple. And um, Springsteen, we had uh, we had hung out with before and played a couple songs at an E Street Band show with him. And um, you know, we just sort of put the feelers out there and sent an email and, and said, you know, would would Bruce be interested in doing this? Um, if not, no problem. But if so, we would we would 
you know, be incredibly grateful to have yeah. him. And, um, and uh, sure enough, a couple of days before we were finishing up the record, we got an email and said he'd love to do it. So, uh, and, and then, you know, now here we are. That's got to make you feel really, really good. I mean, they don't call him the boss for nothing. That is... Uh, that's, that's true. An unbelievable staple of your career to say, oh, yeah, it, we're, Bruce Springsteen's just going to come and hang out and do a song with us today. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Incredible. I don't, I don't even think he's Irish. I think he's I think he's Jewish <laughs> and Italian. I, <laughs> so that's really cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys leave the, uh, you guys do a big tour here in the U.S., and then you go over to Germany, and you do a European tour, and it doesn't look like you're slowing down anytime soon. No, no. Uh, I mean, now that the uh, now that the new album's out, we're gonna be we're gonna be just as uh, just as prevalent. Uh, I mean, we're we're just gonna be around and, and touring, and people won't be able to get rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know they don't, man. Tim, man, you are the man, and and like I said, I, I just I can't thank you guys enough for being together for this long, putting out a new record, and and just doing what you do every single damn day. An amazing group of guys, man. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We'll see you out on the road. You guys be safe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right. Take care. You too. Hey, this is Tim Brennan from the Dropkick Murphys. You're listening to the Rockstar Radio Show, and this is our song, Going Out in Style. I've seen a lot of sights and traveled many miles. Shook a thousand hands and seen my share of smiles. I've caused some great concern and told one too many lies. And now I see the world through these subtle jaded eyes. So what if I threw a party and all my friends are there? Acquaintances, relatives, the girl. 